Six customized cloud-based intelligent humanoid service robots, or HSRs, were on Saturday handed over to the Ministry of Health to be deployed in various regional health authorities. And TTT News understands that already two additional disinfecting health service robots used to terminally clean air and surfaces are already being used in the health system. Health Minister Terence Dialsing said the implementation of these robots in the healthcare system would not replace medical and healthcare workers, but complement them in their day-to-day -day operations. We never know where our technological advances will take us. But today, we are here in Trinidad and Tobago adopting robotics and AI, things that we have been speaking about theoretically, and it is here. Funded by the government of India for US $1 million, the project is a partnership between the TNT government, PAHO WHO, and the UN Resident Coordinator's Office. PAHO WHO representative for TNT, Dr. Gabriel Francisconi, said the health service robots would perform preliminary registration, evaluation and communication with patients and have been successful in many countries. Rwanda reported that the robots played a valuable role in the fight against COVID-19 and in their operation in the most infectious wards, reduce the exposure of medical staff by allowing them to avoid direct contact with patients. And Indian High Commissioner Dr. Pradeep Singh Rajpurohit said the funding for CARICOM countries comes out of a CARICOM India summit that took place in 2019 with further collaboration on the cards. Eight robots, two are already in place, one in Arima and one in Scarborough Hospital in, in Tobago to our information. But there was also three more components, including deployment of telemedicine service, which India has been very advanced and we have actually worked on this to enable the professional to serve the patients remotely. One of the robots will be given to the University of Trinidad and Tobago, UTT, for resolving issues that may arise and further capacity, which UTT's president, Professor Prakash Prasad, welcomed. Available health service robots were surveyed this worldwide and this, their suitability for application here was looked at and detailed analysis provided to facilitate the procurement process. Upon the arrival of the robots, the UTT team engaged in training the staff of the Ministry of Health in programming the robots and in the operation of the devices. And the five other intelligence HSRs will be deployed at regional health authorities in Arima, Coover, Point Fortin and Scarborough, while Arima and Scarborough will have access to the two disinfecting health service robots. Sonolala, TTT News.